Disinfecting your poultry house is one of the most important thing if you want to talk about disease management in poultry. And many people get it wrong from the moment they disinfect their house. Some people use something like this. Others use something like this. The pump, you pump, and you spray. Okay. Yeah. But can this really do the work? No. These two can't do the work. There are sometimes you need to, in fact, all the time, you need to get into those crevices, those hidden spots in the house. You need to make sure that you, you bring out those hard glued deaths, hard glued poops. You need to remove the cobwebs from the farishing spots in the house. Some poultry houses are very high and tall, so you have to make sure that you get something that can eat those corners and remove all of those cobwebs and every other thing that you don't want in the chicken house. Yes, fine, you have to use your disinfectant solution, but then if you don't get out all those debris, they reduce the effectiveness of your disinfectant. So we we'll come to this. You need a pressure washer. A pressure washer with a gun like this, capable of shooting your enemy, shooting coccidiosis, shooting Newcastle, shooting Gumboro, shooting Coriza, you know, you have to get rid of those crazy enemies that won't make you make profit in the poultry business. So I recommend something like this. And now let me show you how it looks like from the box, unboxing it and arranging everything and getting it to work. Okay, so from inside this box, this is a 2000 watt pressure washer uh, with a copper wire induction motor, a metal pump with high quality and the Hinko unique pressure gun. So from here we have this motor with tires, you can move it up and down. We have the handle. We have this um, support for okay it holds the wire and is a support for the water bottle the soap bottle rather okay and this is the wire cable it's connected directly to the machine so you don't have to detach this and this is the okay this is the the hose for the gun I'll show you the attachments soon and this is the gun you let's start by fixing this into place okay okay, okay the gun is set okay we have this connector for your hose the inlet hose uh, the only thing that doesn't come with this machine is the hose that you use to supply water to the machine. So I got hose already. I'm going to connect it in a bit. And this is the soap bottle. It's, um, it's good when you want to wash any surface. You first apply soap at low pressure. So the soap comes out. And after that, you, you allow it to settle for a while. And then... You increase the pressure the soap stops to come out and you just wash the surface <clears throat> so i'm going to connect this thing right away okay mm -hmm. yeah we have four sets of screws i forgot to mention that four set of screws the bigger one the bigger two will hold this one in position.
okay that is done and let me quickly fix this support So I've seen a couple of people try to fix this uh, soap bottle, but they didn't quite get it. Uh, well, it's not hard. It's just going to stay like this. It's going to stay in front. The hose should be fitted into position here. Uh -huh. And then the placement of this is very important to you you find a way to fix it into here yeah nice it's it's good so now let's fix this um outlet I think this thing is good quality hose you just push it in at first then you screw this you push in and you screw so that's that for the hose and then you attach it to the gun attaching it to the gun if you are putting it in you can just press it in to stay in position but when you want to remove it you have to press this like a trigger a smaller trigger then you pull you press you pull if you are putting it too you can decide to press and push so it's easy out you press and pull so that's it and when you are using you can pull the trigger here if you want to stop the machine for a while, probably you want to attend to a call or something else. If this machine is not going to be in use for a couple of seconds or minutes, you can press this button to stop the trigger. Okay, when you are set again, you push back. And you okay, so that's that. We are left with the with the hose to supply water into the machine so um one wrong thing that some people do also is to first fix the hose into this connector first before screwing it in but i think that is um that's not so good because then they will have to twist the hose in the process of screwing it so you i suggest you just screw this in position screw this into position and then you fix the hose so i'm going to fix the hose right okay so this is the hose i got a three quarter size hose i would have preferred the half inch hose but i got a three quarter okay so you fix this uh what do they call this now clip fix the clip in position and that's what you're going to use to tighten it on this thing so you push it in then you screw the you use the flat you screw the clip to hold it in position so that's it and then you you run water from the source you run water from the source into the machine you can allow it for a couple of seconds like um depending on the length of the wire of the hose you run it you plug this you run the hose and you open the water so um one last thing before we test the machine once you plug it in once you 
have the plug inserted into the socket and you this is the switch this is the horn switch once you put it on you hear a sound um, showing that the, ma the machine has engaged so after that short sound it stops to work and then it waits for you until you pull the trigger here one good thing about this is that um, it saves energy the moment you pull the trigger the machine is on you can spray whatever you want to spray wash whatever you want to wash and then once you release the machine stops so it's not consuming power while not in use while in idle mode it saves energy so it's a good innovation i know the whole uh, pressure washers once you put it on you have to be running up and down whenever you want to stop the machine so this is pretty cool so we are left with testing the machine to see how bad it is how good actually So in this reaching for our moment. 